What's going on everyone? This is RR from FinSuite and in this video, we are going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can implement the sort tool into your CMS. This is similar to the filter tool, but instead of filtering, we are going to have different ways of sorting through your collection items. So we're in our designer and this is the document that we've been making. Uh, we've been working on this whole CMS with this one right here. And as you can see, we actually just created the filter option and we were able to filter through these buttons. We were able to filter by search. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the sort tool. Now sort is similar to filter. Remember with filter, you can kind of filter and only show up whatever uh, you click. For example, if you click purple, it'll just show up the purple ones, red, black, and you can even search and all that stuff. But with sort, you're able to sort them um, within your CMS in a certain order that you want. You know, it's kind of self-explanatory. Now, Webflow has some sort features in it already, but the thing is, it's kind of limited. And I'm going to show you right now. So if you go ahead and click our CMS collection here, and let's say let's click collection list wrapper, click the gear button, and you have ways you can filter, and you have ways that you can or, uh, sort order. As you can see here, you can uh, sort it with plain text, alphabetical, um, reverse alphabetical, and all these things. But one of the things is it's pretty limited. You're really only able to sort uh, with your collection um, collection kind of uh, um, features and the collection items. But the FN Suite CMS library sort tool, it lets you sort within the text inside the class name. Okay. And also one thing with the Webflow sort order, it's really more for the creator. So as the creator, you can sort it in however way you want. But uh, the FN Suite CMS library sort tool lets the user be able to select however they want to sort it out. So that's just a, a brief explanation of the sort tool. Now, what we have here is the thing that we've created. I've added some things onto the CMS, to the collection. I've added, as you can see, I've added years to the CMS collection. And I've tried as much as possible to make them as random as I can. If you go back to the collection, let's say we do Finchby products. Um, I added just the year and I just made it plain text. And that's very key so that we can search within that main text. Now, I did that to the FinSuite pictures as well, and I have the year numbers here. And remember, we have the combine uh, tool uh, feature added here as well, so it combines and you're able to filter and sort through both of them. So what we're going to do, now that we have our year numbers, and we went ahead and um, added these. And another key thing, by the way, this is very important, you want to add a class name to the text itself. As you notice here, I added the class name year. This is very key, especially later, what, we, because we're going to tell the sort button what they're going to sort through and how are they going to sort it using that class name year. So these class names are very important when you're working with the FN Suite CMS library. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our sort button. We have our year numbers. We've added them onto the collection. We've added them onto the items. We've go ahead. We went ahead and put a class name, which is year. So what we're going to do, we're going to add thing here. Now I'll go ahead and keep this on the left and the, uh, the purple, red, and black. I'll keep that. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and remove this filter by search. Actually, what I will do is I'll just go ahead and hide it and add another filter wrapper. To me, the best way to do that, I can add a div block or and then put the class name or I could just duplicate this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a div block. So we'll add a div block here and we're going to name it filter wrapper. It's nice to have these um, class names there. And we're going to add our own button in here. Now, there's a difference that we have to do here. We have to make the button, it has to be a link block or a link text, not just a button. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it a link text that kind of looks similar to this, just so we can have the similar style. But 
we're gonna it's gonna be a sort button so we're gonna go ahead and add a link text into this filter wrapper which is there on the right and we're gonna name this sort hyphen button now that's an important name to remember as well when we get into the script so that we're able to we're able to tell the script to sort using this one okay and i think we made this in the middle good now we're gonna go i, I don't like the underline so i'm gonna remove that and then we're gonna make it consistent with the styling so the font that we've been using was montserrat montserrat however you pronounce it make it semi bold and we'll make it kind of a gray color to just to differentiate it make it 16. now i want to add some boxes around it that's pretty simple i want to make it to this display first make it a block element and then i'm going to add some padding on the top i'm going to add some padding on the sides and then we're going to go ahead and add a border around it make it two pixels kind of the same width as the other ones and i'm going to go ahead and put it back to um this type of it to the inline display just because i want it to be good later on okay and then we'll go ahead and change the name to filter by year now what we're going to do we're going to make an active um, sort button as well okay so we're gonna go ahead and copy this remember uh, we made some button mods for the purple red and black if you don't remember uh, which is over here because we're gonna tell the script as well that when the button is active it will look like this okay so we're gonna go ahead and put that one here and we're gonna make an active uh, pretty much how it looks like when it's clicked because we want to be able to tell is it sorted this way is it sorted the other way so when it's active we want it to be in a similar style which is um, a colored background with a white text so we're gonna go ahead and make the background of this one well we'll go ahead first of all very important by the way add the secondary class sort hyphen active so that the other one doesn't change only this one and we're gonna go ahead and make the background that gray color that we had and make the text white so now whenever it's active it will look like this button specifically and we have this button mod page just to display our active buttons so we go back to the sort um uh page that we have the sort button and what we're going to do right now before we can go to add the script we need to add an attribute to this sort button so go ahead and click the sort button go to the gear icon right here and go to custom attributes it is what we've been doing actually with filter as well and we're going to add a an attribute now the name if you remember on filter we added filter by now this one's going to be sort hyphen by and the custom value that is important on the other ones we weren't adding this but on this one we are because remember the sort tool enables you to sort within the text not the actual class but the text within the class so it's important that you add a period signifying that we are sorting by not an actual year but the uh the text within that class name which is year so sort by period year okay not just sort by year sort by period year signifying that it is a class so now that we have the attributes, we are ready. We're pretty much ready to go. And we're going to go to the visual script writer. Now, remember these key things. The classes you need to remember is sort hyphen button, sort hyphen active, and also the, um, the collection list, which is the whole thing. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the visual script writer, our best friend. And we're going to add the collection list here. Remember our collection list name is dot collection hyphen list anytime you put a dot between uh, before a name it signifies that it is a class name and remember we have two collection lists so we've been combining it so that we're able to filter and sort through both of them so we'll go ahead and add the combine function it's super easy just add it and you're good to go now we'll go ahead and go to sort we're gonna add a couple things here 
First off is our sort trigger. That is our button specifically. So period here, period, sort hyphen button. And the next one is uh, called sort reverse. You're able to make this true or pretty much false or non-present. Um, this is a way because right now, traditionally, it will uh, sort it from A through Z alphabetically. You're able to go ahead and make it that when you press the button, it would be the reverse, which is Z through A. Now, why would you want that? Well, default sometimes it, go, it, it goes ahead and makes it alphabetical order. So you can go ahead and make it reverse where you say, okay, instead of ascending order, you want to make it descending order. But how I designed it is I actually randomized the years on purpose. So it's 2020, 2014, 2019, 2015, and now the way here, I'll go to 2009. I made it by year number. So we're going to sort by year. I actually just realized I put filter here. So we should do sort by year. I don't have a filter there. So we'll go ahead and leave that alone. And we'll add an active class. Now the active class was dot filter hyphen active. Okay, so we have our class names, collection list, sort button, filter, not filter. I keep saying filter, sort active, okay? Now we have all these things. We're gonna go ahead and copy the code. You can add animation as well, but I'm just gonna go ahead and bypass that. If you wanna do that, you can play around with it. Um, you're welcome to do so. Copy the code and we'll go back to the page. Now we'll click the page uh, name here. I actually went ahead and created a new page, which is actually sort. So we'll do the gear icon. This is the old code. This was still the filter code. And by the way, you're able to combine it. You could do filter and sort, but with this one, we're just gonna do sort. We're gonna delete this, and then we'll just paste the code that we just copied. Go ahead and press save. Now, I just wanna make sure that I put the right class name because I have a tendency to put filter instead of sort. So let me go to the button mods. Ah, see, it says filter. So if we did that, it's gonna say, sort by year and when you click it, it's gonna say filter by year and that's weird we don't want that okay and we have here sort active okay good now we'll go ahead and go back to sort and remember we're gonna go ahead and hit publish it's not gonna work in preview mode it has to be published and we're gonna go ahead and check it out every time we get to this part i always get really nervous <laughs> that it won't work so we'll go ahead and click sort by year and there you go <laughs> it's sorted by year 2007, 2008, all the way down to 2020. As you can see, I actually skipped a year. I think I skipped 2010. I just miscalculated. But pretty much now it's sorted to the year that we want. If you want to turn it off, and there you go. It's not sorted by year anymore. And that is how you add and use the sort tool. If you're still having trouble and you have any more questions about setting up the sort tool for your CMS, I encourage you to visit sweetjs.io and join our customer service Slack channel called SweetJS, where you can ask questions about any of the tools that FinSuite has created. Until next time, stay tuned for more videos and more tutorials that we have coming out for the rest of the tools. That's FinSuite.